My name is Renata Leite Pittman and I work for the Center for Tropical Conservation at Duke University and with the Frankfurt Zoological Society in Peru. I came to Peru in 2000 for just three months, but ended up staying here 10 years to do the research on the short-eared dog. When first my, my boss told me about the short-eared dog at Mano National Park, I, I looked at literature and found only two field reports on the species. And that caused me a lot of curiosity. Why a species that, you know, uh, is, is known for such a long time has not been studied? The first three years I spent in, in Mano National Park, I started to sight animals, follow them by tracks, collect these cats and see what they eat. But several questions remain. What is their density? We don't know. The status on the IUCN is data deficient, this, which means that we cannot say that it's a threatened species or not. In 10 years, uh, we were able to capture only five individuals, and I consider myself a good trapper. So just this rate for me means that the, the species is really rare. Especially that we are doing this in an area where the density is reported more high than any other place in the, in the Amazon basin. We have gotten a very special situation. We, we got to tame an animal, which was a juvenile, and we were, were able to, brought, to, to bring this animal to the station and adapt him for two and a half years to the trails. As soon as we, f we found that, I started to search on the web what kind of device could help us to, to record the mating behavior of the species. And then we find out the critter cam. That would be a perfect tool for our research. What you, we want from also is to do experiment that we couldn't do with the wild animals. But it's very hard to do observation on them. We, we radio color them, we could track for distance, but you could never do of visual observations on, on those animals.